Let me move ahead and come to a very important reaction. This reaction is when you make a uh, amine to react with uh, either you take sodium nitrite with HCl or you take nitrous acid. Both will do the same reaction. You get alcohol. This is a very important, very powerful reaction and this you have to remember. This reaction converts amines and that has to be a one degree amine into an alcohol. So in any reaction, you are, if you are seeing that this amine is getting converted to alcohol, you have to think of this reaction. This reaction is reaction with nitrous acid or, or you can take sodium nitrite with HCl. I mean sodium nitrite with HCl is as good as a nitrous acid because this HCl being a strong acid will protonate the sodium nitrite. So this is actually going to become nitrous acid. So either you take the salt and HCl or you take nitrous acid directly. Now that is going to convert this amine into alcohol. This is an important and very powerful reaction to change the functional group directly from amine to alcohol. Now this is of use in uh, organic chemistry. Let's see how this reaction happens. Now, I'm sorry. This is what nitrous acid looks like. Now, even if you have sodium nitrite, then this HCl is going to protate, protonate the sodium nitri nitrite ion and then that's going to become nitrous acid. So I'm starting straight away with nitrous acid. Now what happens is when you have all acids and nothing else, and we saw this thing when we saw um, uh, nitration for the first time in the chapter of hydrocarbon. We studied there that when you take nitrating mixture, when you take nitric acid and you, when you take sulfuric acid, when both the entity in the system are acid and there's nothing else, then one acid is going to protonate another acid. That's what we studied when we studied nitration. Now here also, since there are only acid molecules, then in such cases what happens, one acid molecule because here both are same, then one acid molecule is going to protonate another acid molecule. So what you're going to come out here, suppose this one protonates. So this becomes, comes in anionic form. And the other one is going to be protonated like this. And you know what's going to happen next, don't you? This water is going to come out. And you are going to get nitrosonium ion. This is what you are going to get. Now this nitrosonium ion is effectively the reacting agent in the system that is going to go for reaction. This has plus charge, this has lone pair. You know what's going to happen next, don't you? This 9 plus is going to come to amine and ask for electron and there are going to be a bond formation like this. The plus charge that will appear on this nitrogen will go away with the hydrogen. So I have taken away one hydrogen from this nitrogen and I have made a bond between this nitrogen and this nitrogen. Fine. Now there are more H plus into the system because there are more acids in the system. If you have taken HCl, there will be, will be a very high concentration of H plus. If you have taken just nitrous acid, that will also ionize to give more H plus in the system. So what happens next from here, those H plus will come and ask for electron and who's going to give that electron. This nitrogen has lone pair, but this lone pair is involved in resonance with this double bond. If you draw one resonating structure, you will observe that this is one of the RS. So this nitrogen actually has a plus charge. So this lone pair is not available to be offered to a proton. proton. So this oxygen is going to give because it has a negative charge. Look, so this oxygen is going to offer its lone pair to the incoming proton. So it will offer its lone pair. It will give that electron to oxygen. Fine. Now the problem is the plus charge is appeared on a more electronegative atom. So this electron from this pi bond is going to shift into the orbital of this oxygen. This nitrogen is then is going to gain a plus charge. Then this electron are going to come here and form a bond. So you're going to have something like this. The plus charge now comes on nitrogen 
and you know what this nitrogen does when it gains a plus charge it removes that plus charge by removing of h plus so this h plus will come out of the nitrogen and whether this h plus or other h plus from the system will come to this oh to form oh2 plus now oh2 plus is a good leaving group because water is thermodynamically very stable solvent so water is going to come out if water comes out this nitrogen gains a plus charge and this nitrogen has a lone pair so actually the whole process will go simultaneously as water comes out this lone pair will come in to form a bond so directly what you will have is this coordinate bond and this nitrogen gains a plus charge now this plus charge is not because of deficiency this plus charge only signifies that the coordinate bond the electrons in the coordinate bond has come from this atom otherwise the octet if you see of this nitrogen is complete all right so this is what you have so this is diazonium ion azo is for nitrogen diazo because they are two nitrogen and em is the way of naming plus charge like oxygenium hydrogenium so this is diazonium so this is diazonium ion this n2 plus now because this n2 is a very very good living group it's an excellent living group now this n2 gas as we have discussed before when we studied wolf kishner reduction this n2 gas is a very good living group it will leave the system if even if the reaction is being carried out at room temperature if you don't have allow if you, if you if you don't want to allow this n2 gas to leave you have to carry out the whole reaction at 0 to 5 degrees celsius you have to keep the temperature very low even if the temperature rises more than 10 15 degrees celsius this n2 gas even if the temperature is below room temperature it's around 15 degrees celsius then also this nitrogen is going to come out it's such a good leaving group fine fine so what's going to happen this nitrogen and since we haven't mentioned the temperature so we are assuming the temperature is the room temperature so this nitrogen gas is going to come out and that is going to develop r plus and this n2 gas is going to come out and in the system you have seen lots of water molecule has come out like the one recently this in this step h2 molecule comes out so those h2 molecules will come for the rescue of this r plus to enable this carbon in the r plus to complete its octet so finally you're going to have a uh, alcohol so this is your final product when n2 gas comes generally any nucleophile can come and attack r plus and because water are available there is no other nucleophile but you have taken if you have taken nitrous acid then there is no other nucleophile if you have taken sodium nitrite and hcl then this chloride can be a potent nucleophile but that chloride ion is very stable so preferably the attack will be from water and not from chloride so that this alcohol is the major product out of this reaction so if the temperature is high and there is no other nucleophile mentioned you will report this alcohol as the major product fine so this amine which you started with this is converted into this alcohol this is how the whole process happens okay